Good day, royal fans. I'm your host, Sheldon Moon. Today's headline. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry made incendiary claims against the royal family in an explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey over a month ago. Kevin O'Sullivan said, Meghan let it be known that she is prepared to heal the rift between the royal family so long as they apologise to her. I think people in this country think the apology should be coming in the opposite direction, that Harry and Meghan owe our royal family a huge apology for outrageously calling them racists. Mr. Myers added, I don't think we're going to see Meghan here anytime soon. She is heavily pregnant. It would be extraordinary if she came back for the Diana statue unveiling, and then one may wonder when we will see her again. They've set up a very cozy life out there. Maybe it will be Christmas, and even then, will they be welcomed back? There's an awful lot that needs to be discussed, and all the leaks from their camp is causing quite a bit of stress over on the other side. Whilst this keeps happening, and they're not talking, I can't see any cooling of relations to make everything better. Meghan stepped down as a senior member of the royal family with Prince Harry and moved to Los Angeles with their son Archie last year. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have since signed multiple deals in a bid to make themselves financially independent from the royal family. But royal commentator Richard Eden said Meghan wanted to be a US president, as reports swirl as to whether she would win. Mr Eden said, a very good source said even after Meghan had started going out with Prince Harry, she had said that her ultimate ambition was to be president. It seems to be increasingly likely, and what a fascinating prospect that would be. Royal commentator Victoria Murphy added, It would be absolutely extraordinary if it did happen, and totally unprecedented. I would never say never, but I don't think this is something that is on the cards in the near future. Anyone I've spoken to does seem to suggest that's the case. What would be interesting about it is, one of the challenges for Harry and Meghan now is to be seen as other than the royal family. Everything that they do, their identities, are shaped by the royal family, and I do not see how that could ever not be the case. If she was to become president, their legacy would be completely different. Interesting stuff, huh? Meghan Markle for president. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. See you tomorrow with more, and goodbye for now.